Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 69th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can pass structures to functions. Now you can see that using code blocks I've saved a file, I've given it the name structures to functions.c and I have some code in this file that we're going to look at in just a moment. And uh, on line 1 in the file I have the stdio.h header file, on line 2 I have the string.h header file and uh, then I have declared the structure with which we've been working uh, for the past few tutorials and uh, it's called album and to declare that I've used the struct keyword that's the struct keyword and then it's got four elements all four are strings so there's uh, a string called title that has 35 characters there's a string called artist that can hold a maximum of 35 characters and then number of tracks and year these two uh, elements are also of uh, string type or they are array of characters and uh, arrays of characters and then tr number of tracks can hold uh, five characters and year can also hold five characters and uh, in this tutorial we are going to see a new method of declaring structure variables so if you do not want to declare structure variables inside the main function then you can do it immediately after your structure definition so after the closing curly brace you can see that I have written the word album and uh, this word album or uh, this identifier is now a structure variable right so you can use it the same way as uh, you use the structure variables that you de declare and define inside the main function and uh, it's just that instead of defining it inside the main function or declaring it inside the main function we've declared it outside right and uh, after you've declared it you have to put a semicolon right so this is something that you should remember and uh, it's a quick way of uh, declaring structure variables actually and then on line 10 i have declared a function that's called display album right and uh, this function is going to take structure as an argument and it's going to work with it right so uh, it's not going to return anything back to the main function and main function for this function is going to be the calling function right so since it's not going to return anything its data type is void right so i've uh, mentioned the keyword void before the function name and then uh, the parameter list includes just one argument and since it's of structure type and since uh, we want to pass a variable that uses this structure that is a structure album as a template we have to specify the keyword struct first and then the name of the structure right so that's why I've written struct album and then you have to specify a dummy parameter right so this is going to be the formal parameter for the function and uh, I have named it alb alb right and then I put a semicolon to uh, finish the function declaration and then on line number 11 I have declared the main function inside the main function I have uh, defined the structure elements for the variable album right so <clears throat> I've used the string copy function to you know initialize the title element for the album variable and I've given it the value of issuer here and then I've again used a string copy function I've used it four times actually to initialize each of the four members and I've used the member access operator to separate the name of my structure variable which is album all in small case and uh, the structure member names right so title gets the value of issuer here and uh, artist gets the value Pink Floyd and then uh, number of tracks 5 and the album year gets the value 1973 right and then I have called the display album function with the structure variable which is album all in small case as the argument right so the way you pass structures to functions is the same way as you pass other variables to functions right you just have to specify the name of what you're passing and since in this case the name of our structure variable is album which we've declared outside the main function right here if you want to pass it to the function you just have to specify its name within the parentheses in the call statement right and then uh, outside the main function I've defined the display album function which just consists of you know um, some statements that are going to display the values for the structure members for the uh, variable album on screen and uh, since I've used the variable alb as the formal parameter for the function i have to work with that i cannot work with the variable album i can do that if i would have specified it here but since i specified alb here i'm going to call my puts function with the uh, parameter alb right so 
there are four puts function statements inside the function definition for display album function and uh, the first one displays the value of title the second one displays the value of artist the third one displays the number of tracks and the fourth one displays the year so let me run this program for you guys uh, and show you guys the output and there you go inside the output window we see that uh, on line one we get the name of the album which is wish you were here on line number two we see the artist name which is pink floyd line number three we see the number of tracks which is five and line number four we see the year in which the album was released and that's 1973 so you can make this program more interesting by using loops and you know instead of having just one structure variable you can have an array of structure variables that's something that we discussed in the last tutorial and again you can enhance the appearance of the output right so right now it's displaying correct information but um, you can't really say that you know the output looks nice right so you can have a few printf statements inside the display album function that you know display what actually you are displaying right so you can display some messages using printf so you can work with this program you can experiment with it so i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next one and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon